Welcome to the Funky Podcast. My name is Kieran. And my name is... And today we are talking about... Well, Sean, uh, we are going to interview people. People? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I've, I've met a couple of people before. Yeah. Um, we're going to interview people and ask them questions. But before we do that, we're actually going to ask uh, each other uh, these questions uh, just before we get the opinion from uh, the guests inside. So, uh, I'll ask Sean and I'll, we can like discuss it, mm. I suppose. If Australia is 24 hours ahead, why didn't they warn us about 9-11? Mm, yes, 9-11. Uh, 9-11, as you all know, bit of an L for America. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, definitely something they uh, did not like. It was kind of... Uh, I think the official statement by the government was like when 9-11 happened, it was like, okay, guys, that was a bit mean. You don't need to do that. So, yeah, why would Australia not warn them about this if they're 24 hours ahead of the rest of the world? I think of Australia was actually in on it from the start. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, think about it, you know? Like, all this time, they've been trying but failing to establish their dominance on the rest of the world with their Vegemite empire. And I think, you know, they teamed up with the terrorists um, so that they could weaken America's uh, America's influence and power. Make them feel vulnerable so they could then unleash this Vegemite wave upon the world. Mm. That, however, is just a theory. A terrorism theory. Now back to you. That's a very interesting sort of theory on that. Mm. Uh, it could be possible. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. Um, I always thought it was Trump that did something oh. with 9-11. But um, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, like, I actually do like the Australians for the most part. Mm. I love Margot Robbie and Hugh Jackman and, uh, you know, uh, the the zoo guy, Crocodile Dundee, I think oh, his name classic. is. classic. Yeah, I don't know. They always seem like nice people. But, uh, you know, I've actually been to Australia. It's, uh, it's quite hot. Uh, not, not, like, sexy hot. I mean, hot, mm. hot, like, you know red burns yeah uh, it's different heat though uh it, it's okay uh the it's a bit terrifying but it's quite big it's it's, it's really cool but uh yeah uh, i've only been there the once uh that was a long time ago uh, i'd love to, to go one more time just have my opinion and thoughts but yeah it was a very interesting holiday yeah i've never actually been to australia myself but i definitely i have a positive view of it uh based on everything else that I've seen. Um, do I think they could do a terrorism? I don't know if they could do a terrorism, but I think they could at least be complacent in a terrorism. Uh-huh. Um, would you like to read the next question? Well, I mean, if you put a gun to my head and force me to do it, I think, like, fine, I do it. And Oh, okay, he has a gun. He has a gun. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Read it. You have a speaker with a... Quote, big arse on the back. It's louder than a, quote, feckin' cabbage in the middle of Cork City. What song will you play? We are number one. Uh, From Lazy Town. Ah, uh, a classic. Rest in peace. Re rest in peace, Mr. Robbie Rotten himself. Uh, wow, I... 
I agree. Like, it brings back the 2016 memes. As I said before, a fantastic year for memes. It was a really fantastic year for The memes. game changer, I think, for memes. Yeah, a terrible year for movies, great year for... Yeah, terrible year for movies, pretty terrible year for uh, uh, politics, I guess. Uh, yeah. But good year for memes, like we got Pokemon Go, we got number one, of course, uh, Dat Boy. Oh, classics. Yeah. Banger after banger. And Callum's Corner, that was his uh, yes. uh, debut. Yeah. So, uh, hmm. yeah. Um, who would win in a... Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, out of this list, who has the smelliest farts? Iggy Azalea, Iggy Pop, Siggy Marley, Nigel Farage, Jennifer Lawrence, TJ Miller, DJ Khalid, Gigi Hadid. Usher or Gabriel Byrne? I think TJ Miller, definitely. Uh, he just has the vibe of a kind of guy that, like, I would not want to be around for an extended period of time. And uh, I think that's a big part of the reason why. Uh, another part of the reason, like, from what I can tell, he's a bit of a... Um, what's the word? A bit of a crackhead, I think. Or at least crackhead energy. Um, but yeah, I think out of all those, it's definitely the title has to go to Mr. TJ himself. Yeah. Um... Should we, um, I have an idea. Should we read out all the questions for everybody or pick out, like, a few and, like, then get them to answer it so everybody doesn't get the same questions? Um, I think that's a good idea, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, should we do it now? Cause, uh, I feel like this was a, a fun kind of, uh, you know, start. Uh, but to go through all of them, it would be a bit too uh, repetitive, I suppose. So it'd be fun to kind of get other opinions. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. All right. Welcome our guest, Sean, and all that. Well, hello there, Aaron. Oh, hello, Sean. It's uh, nice to be part of the Funky Podcast. Yeah, this is a good friend of the show, Aaron. No relation to Met Aaron or Aaron Yeager, but she's special in her own way. Thank you. Uh, so... Aaron. Sean. What body part would you like to add? Would I? Would, what body part I would like to add? Yeah, like you know, we got like the hands, the legs, the eyes, like all the classics. But like, I think it's about time for an update at this point. What? What? What do you ooh, envision for ooh, ooh. humans so, too? So, like, as in, I can have my body, but I have to add an extra part of that. Yeah. Okay, so, but can I place it anywhere I want? Absolutely anywhere. Ooh, 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 I already know, I already know. So what I would do, right, is I would put an eye on my palm, right, so I can, like, see higher, right, and, like, see over walls because I'm too short. I'm, like, five foot, I'm in denial. I'm, like, five foot, five. Okay, four. <laughs> I think that's a very compelling thought. I, uh, I think it's a very respectable choice. Uh, th it does sound like I've uh, thought about this before, hasn't it? Like it. Um, a little bit, but that just means you're a deep thinker, always <laughs> thinking ahead on the future, you know? Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. So, what do you think the first person who was milking a cow was actually trying to do? <laughs> um, that's a that's an intriguing question. Um, ooh, I can tell you why he was not doing anyway. Um, he wasn't getting up to any good, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, nope. probably not. Uh, no, no. Um, what was he doing? Um, hmm. Uh, well, you know, they say curiosity kills uh, the cat. Well, uh, what do we say about this? Like, the guy with the cow, like, curiosity will uh, milk a cow? Question mark? Uh... I think that makes sense. Yeah. I think it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was milking it anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does make sense. So, for our final question. Ooh, which one to ask? Which one to ask? Hmm. Hmm. If roses are red, mm -hmm. why are violets blue? Are they sad? 
Oh, I never thought about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, oh I'm my god. Are the wireless sad? I We've never know. talked about this. We've oh never man. discussed. Man, I hope they're okay you know, anyway. Like you know, I mean, I, I guess like kind of like people are struggling right now with like the economy and everything. Yeah. But it's like, man, I hope I hope someone's checking on them. Like, God. yeah. Violets, are if you're listening out there, like, mm. we're sorry and we want to give you help, and you can always contact us. So um, there you yeah, go, Violets. I mean, um, always like you know, be sure to like check your mental health. I think mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. it's something you're really like. Uh, to keep up on i think it's very important to talk about this and i i think the uh mm-hmm. i don't see why the conversation should just uh stick with to us uh to us humans you know we should extend that to other life in the on the planet i mean they're alive aren't they at the end of the day so i mean mm, we want to keep things in check like yeah so uh yeah thank cool cool indeed yeah. thank you for uh thank you for joining us today oh, um this was um uh, in- interesting yeah hmm. um anyway john I, I hope you have a fantastic day uh yeah i hope you have a fantastic yeah. day too um all the best then see you later guys see you later bye well uh how how did you uh, treat our guest absolutely shitty really? i was i was the worst co-host you will ever see i will be cancelled after this uh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I, like, totally left my bag. Oh, she was a wonderful guest, Sean, wasn't ooh, she? Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, like, I think we got great chemistry and everything. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, so, uh, what kind of results did we get? Well, we've come to some conclusions. Uh, for one, we think violets are blue because they're sad. Deep down, they're sad. Okay. Uh... Another one we went off on is uh, what was uh, what was uh, the man who was trying to milk the first cow? What was he trying to do? And uh, we came to the conclusion that you know, we didn't really have the answers, but we came up with a great new phrase. You know, they say curiosity killed the cat. We now say okay. curiosity milked the cow, and uh, okay. indeed it did. Okay, cool. And uh, is that the two questions? No, uh, there was a third one to ask, and that is, uh, which body part would you like to add? And Erin says that because she's, um, let's just say, uh, vertically unique, that she would add an extra body part so that she could be uh, taller and see above higher places. Oh, wonderful. Uh, So our next guest is actually going to be Mr. Luke Murray. Luke Murray? Yeah. Like, 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 like Bill Murray? Yes, yes. Uh, he's, uh, he's a great friend. Uh, he's just in the bathroom right now. But he'll be uh, out in a while, and I will be able to uh, ask him a few questions. Um, yeah, and we can uh, discuss them. So, oh, Luke, Luke is out of the bathroom. I can hear him laughing. Oh. Okay, uh, well, uh... Uh, you, 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 uh, Colin, Luke, I'll sit here and interview my friend, or, mm. our, our, uh, special guest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again in like five, ten minutes. yeah, stick your phones on. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm here, uh, we have another, uh, special guest. His name is uh, Luke Murray. Luke Murray is uh, putting on his headphones. Luke, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, kid? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad myself. So we, we just want to ask you like a few questions. You know, the really uh, earth-smashing questions that just break the world barrier in like t- tiny pieces that just make our brains really flow. Okay, okay. And uh, one question we have mm-hmm. is... Why do round pizzas come in square boxes? You know, I've been thinking about this question for years and years on end now. And I have come to but one conclusion. And that is the fact that the government controls everything. The government controls the shapes of our pizzas and the boxes we put them in. Like, one thing I'm very curious about is why pizzas are round... The boxes are square, but then when we cut them, they're a triangle. And that, to me, in a sense, the government controls it, but then I'm like, oh my god, it's just inclusivity, you know, we're not forgetting any shapes. But, 
isn't when you bite the top. Once you get to the end, it's a bigger part. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's like a... To me, it's like... A journey. Do you know, you start off small, baby steps, and then you get to the end, and you just feel like you can take on the whole world. Yeah. That, to me, is the crust. Wait, interesting, interesting. Thank you. Um... Uh, another question is, why do people say they work like dogs if they work all day while dogs do nothing but lie around? <laughs> no, that is a good question. Work like dogs. Well, the first thing that came to my mind when you said that was, do you know the two Irish rowers from Skibbereen who won? The gold in the Olympics. Uh, no, who are they? They were, oh God, I want to get their names right. Paul and David. I could be so wrong with their names right now. Um, but their saying was like to row like a dog. Mm-hmm. And I suppose it's not in a sense of that like dogs work really hard. I think they're like, do you know the typical saying like man's best friend. Mm-hmm. They stay by your side no matter what. And I suppose that is hard work in itself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the only thing my mind is coming to anyway. That's okay. Yeah, no, they're uh that's a, that's a very that's a very interesting one. Thank you know, you. it is like you would think about it though, like they really do nothing. Yeah. And like <laughs> you know, oh I work like a dog you know mm. it's just like come on, like I know. You know, you could say, uh, I worked like a bee because bee uh, do a lot for yeah. you know pollen and stuff, mm. and are important. And they that's they make the honey, and we make the money. <laughs> I mean, that's so true. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. I don't know why that's not a saying. Yeah, you should get that trending. Oh, I should. Um, uh, the final question: Do you, are you familiar with the uh, actor slash music artist slash comedian? Uh, from YouTube, uh, his name is Fred Figglehorn. No, I can't say that I am. Are you not really? No, I actually don't know who that is. You don't know Fred? No. Okay. Uh, that could be for someone who is familiar <laughs> with Fred. Someone who is cultured. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you're <laughs> in for a treat, my friend. He has uh three films and uh oh wow a Nick- Nickelodeon kind of face. He's uh. Mad lad. Uh, what are your opinions on the name Michael? Because uh, that's one of the questions uh, here has to do with that. No, uh, are you, do you like the name Michael? Because uh, w- there is like uh, a list of Michaels that we want to have fight and who would win. Uh huh. The name Michael, is it? Yeah. What do I think of the name? No, just uh, I, are you okay with answering that question? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So. Uh, out of all these Michaels, who uh-huh. would win in a fight between Michael D. Higgins, Michael Bean, Michael Fassbender, Michael Morbius, Michael J. Fox, Michael J. White, Mike White, Mike Wazowski, Michael <laughs> from Grease 2, Michael from Paranormal Activity, and Michael Bublé? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my God. That's so interesting. Okay, so three... There's three standouts to me. Mike Wazowski... He's a literal monster, but he's also cute. Like, I feel like he'd be silent but deadly. Like, a really bad fart. Mm-hmm. Um, Because he's cute. And then yeah. he'd, like... Rah. Then Michael Fassbender, because he played... Correct me if I'm wrong now, but he played... um, The 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 villain in X-Men. Uh, he played a villain in X-Men. His name was Magneto. Yeah, yes. he was in... Four of them, I think. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen many of them, but yeah. Yeah, Magneto. He he's definitely a strong contender. I mean, he can literally bend metal and stuff. And then the last one for me, who I think would be a good contender, is Michael Bublé. Okay. I mean, he has slayed so many women's and gays' hearts across the world. So I mean, he could just sing a little bit, and everyone would just fall in love with him. Now, to me, I think if there was a final, it would be between Bublé and Fassbender, and I think uh, Bublé would pull through in the end. Yeah, but uh, do you think Michael D. Higgins would get anywhere? Like, no, God love him. All right, no, fair no, I think he'd struggle a good bit. He can barely walk up the stairs nowadays. <laughs> Never mind, survive a fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's cute though. He's a little joke like. I'm pretty sure he's like just about five foot. You're probably about right, yeah. Mm. I mean, he could crawl under everyone's legs and like dodge the attacks, but. That's yeah, that's it. true. That's true. Uh, he could get his dogs on them, though. He does have he cool dogs. He actually could. Actually. Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of really big dogs that are a bit, uh, about the same size as him. <laughs> I was going to say it as well. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually. I would say between Fassbender and Buble would be a very interesting fight, actually. Mm, it would. It would. Yeah. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, would it would like the the microphone that Buble is holding, like just like create like these like imaginary echoes and like they all like flow back and mm. stuff. Yeah. Literally, like I can imagine Magneto like throwing and curling metal and like throwing it at Buble and then Buble like singing towards it and then like the the the. The, the echoes of his singing would like push back the metal yeah so it'd be like a, ver- a very anime kind of push and pull kind of a vibe yeah yeah kind of a clashing against each other yes. right in the middle and you don't know who's gonna come out on top exactly but Bruce manages to do it because he mm. stole uh, women and men's hearts yeah literally literally especially with that Christmas album Lord of Mercy it was a good album <laughs> That that that's actually uh lovely and nice. Um well that that was uh three questions, wasn't it? Yes, it was indeed. And uh yeah, you answered them with uh great uh pride and honesty and uh, a lot of heart and that took courage. So uh thank you, Mr. Murray. Thank that. you so much, Kieran. It was a pleasure. Yeah, I will have you uh uh hopefully on the podcast again and hopefully we can uh discuss uh the Michael film and we can have uh michael buble hopefully as a guest oh my god we should get onto that straight away yeah Uh, i'll i'll contact him on twitter and uh, pitch it to him dead right you'll call him he won't call you yeah exactly (laughs) thank you and uh, and if he comes back to me i'll I'll tell him my times i'm available (laughs) and your times you're available exactly you're in college now you don't get that much time exactly like. like come on michael let's get this all right uh cheers Luke. thank Thanks you so that. much kieran no problem at all <laughs> yeah okay so here i am again yeah returning to the booth uh-huh. um myself and uh luke had a discussion uh we uh we had uh i actually actually asked him the michael question uh-huh and uh, he believes that Michael Bublé will come out on top. Hmm. I can agree with that. Um, I think maybe like when Michael B. Blah, 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 blah. Michael B. Bublé, uh, Bublé, I think what he would do is he'd, uh, he'd just start spontaneously singing in the middle of the battlefield, you know, like doing a, doing a Star Lord type of thing, but instead of a dance-off, it's a sing-off. It just distracts everyone, then like, boom, pulls out a gun and yeah, like, yeah. kills everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think that seems very in character with him. Yeah. I believe he would do that. So, yeah, yeah. no, I I, yeah. I, 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 I would agree with Luke, I think, actually. Yeah. Is uh, your mic okay? Does it sound all right? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, it was just my one was a little bit loud. That's all. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's oh, great. Um, yeah, I asked him about uh, the dogs one as well. Um, and we actually, like, we had a, a really uh, good uh, agreement and I gave him the quote from the B movie mm-hmm. about they make the honey and we make the money. Mm-hmm. And he said it's so true that we have to get it trending, you know, about wow. the the whole, you know, thing where, you know, why don't we say, why why don't we work like bees? Because dogs just lie around. So, mm. yeah, it was really yeah, interesting. No. Uh, he went on like a big... Uh, kind of uh, thing and it was really inspirational uh, I don't think I could like fathom uh, the um, thing right now you're just going to have to wait and see because uh, it really touched my heart like honestly and uh, uh, about the uh, round pizzas in square boxes he said that it's because the government is controlling us I don't even need any context or any like other like follow ups to back up that argument, but I agree. Yeah, no, it was a really really deep discussion into that. We really dive deep into 
uh, this uh, void of just so much and it, it was really inspirational i was gonna ask him the fred question <laughs> but he actually didn't know who fred was he wasn't educated on fred figglehorn but that's okay because he did he was familiar with the michaels um but Aye. i will say like with michael morbius a part of the group i feel like michael morbius happily came in third place ah and he also mentioned about Michael Fassbender actually coming in second place. Mm-hmm. But he didn't mention Michael Morbius. I don't, he three stood out to him. So that's all right. Um, yeah, well, I uh, call in the next guest so you can interview them. I'm, I'm just going to need a second. Like, can, I'm just going to need a second to get over the fact he doesn't know who Fred Figglehorn is. But yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be ready. I'll be oh, ready. Oh, God, yeah. No, that, 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 that almost broke my heart. That's, that's the most mind-blowing thing with this whole like episode so far, I think. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, if you can find uh, some uh, questions uh, here um, I mean like you can ask the same ones again but that's alright uh, I think uh, someone may come in so yeah. yeah I'll get them questions I'm just being asked a question uh, yeah it's being asked <laughs> okay. you, you can ask if you want but, uh, uh, I, I don't really know what's happening <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I think it'll become clearer soon. So, first question. If they call it a hit list, we're all familiar with the concept of a hit list. Uh-huh. Why, do they of- why do they often end up shooting the people on the hit list? Because it's a hit list. I mean, yes, but, like, why not simply just, like, give them a hit, like a smack or something? Like, <laughs> shooting <laughs> seems oh, so Oh, you mean wh- why they end up shooting them? Yeah. Oh, Oh yeah, so I guess that's like a, a miscommunication. Mm. <laughs> they should uh, call it a shoot list. A shoot list, yeah. Yeah, shoot shoot list. It's it's much more descriptive. Yeah, it's straightforward. I think if I had a job like that and they told me a hit list, I'll probably get it wrong. I'll just go around hitting people. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're like, no, that's not what we meant. <laughs> yeah, no. You know, it's like in those movies when they say, uh, "Take care of the person." Yeah. Like, what What do you mean? Do you mean, like, I have to, like, take care of them? You know? I, I will take a next question. <laughs> okay. Um, what song do you want to play during your visit to Mars? Let's say uh, you're going to Mars. Okay. Um, Lose Yourself to Dance by Daft Punk. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. I think it's a very space vibe. That is very spacey, I think. Yeah, very, very spacey. Yeah, that 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 yeah. That oh, that's be. actually fantastic, damn. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay. Um, and for a third question, if they call them bread rolls, why can't they actually roll? <laughs> uh, I think I'm overthinking this, <laughs> but but uh, I don't know. You probably can roll it if you put it up the hill somewhere. True, but uh, mm, maybe they should call it. They should just call it bread. Yeah, they should call it bread. Um, it's just bread. Call it a bread. Funny bread. <laughs> <laughs> Different shape bread. Yeah, al- alt alternative bread. Ex- there you go. That's the one. It's alternative al- bread. It's alternative bread now. Gourmet. Uh, something you know special terms mm. for bread <laughs> like bread crumbs bread like crumbs yeah pieces of bread mm. but they're not crumbs <laughs> yeah no they give crumbs I suppose <laughs> yeah well that uh, this has been that, very enlightening thank you very much thank you for asking that questions they've been very what's the word thought provoking thought provoking yeah yes <laughs> thank you you're welcome so, uh, what kind of conclusions did we come to? Well, we decided, well, we figured out that, um, yeah, we're not quite sure why they call them bread rolls when they can't roll, and at least not by their own volition. So we came up with this new word for them, alternative bread. Or possibly even funny bread, that was another one this one, but like, we're going right now with alternative bread. That's what they're called now. Ah, oh, awesome. That, that, that sounds very, very you just, interesting. You, you go down to the shop and you're like, uh, and you act the bakery section, and you're just like, 
can I have some alternative bread, please? Yeah. And they know exactly what you're talking about. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what else did you ask uh, our friend? Uh, we, I decided to ask him uh, what his song to Mars would be, and uh, he picked the song Lose Yourself to Dance by Daft Punk. Thinks it's very uh, spacey. Oh. Uh, I agree with that. I agree with that quite a lot. Um, and for the other question I asked him was why they call it a hit list when you end up actually shooting the person on it usually. Again, we, neither of us can really figure out an answer, but we've come to the conclusion it should be a shoot list instead. A shoot list? That's the daily life of an assassin now. It's like he goes down to the shop to buy himself some alternative bread while he keeps check on a shoot list. That, that is amazing and mm. has uh, really inspired me. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this has been, uh, a really educational day, um, with, uh, some really, really good opinions, I think, anyway, you know? Do you agree with that? I would. I would agree with that. Yeah. In fact, I go as far as to say, I do agree with that. Yeah, obviously. Um, so, who, like, who else could we, uh, ask to be on this? Uh, wonderful thing. Uh, Max is there? Max is there, yes. Uh, would you like to uh, maybe ask Max if they would be interested in it? I will. Yeah, okay. We have a special guest. Uh, this person is amazing. Call well, Max. This is assuming they don't turn us down. Yeah, and if they do, Sean can uh, come and rant about Max. <laughs> And we'll start a whole podcast called We Hate Max. No, we won't. We would never do that. We're too nice. For now. Okay. We have a special guest coming in. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry. I fall off that chair all the time. Okay. Uh, welcome, Max. Welcome to the Funky Podcast. Good to have you on. Good to be here. Yeah. So we're going to ask you uh, three questions, if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so uh, out of every single person in the whole entire universe, who would you like to play in a game of tennis? Oh, Jesus. Um, (laughs) uh, In the universe? Yes, uh, uh, anybody. Ooh. Um... Oh god. Uh probably Oh god, you've put me on the spot now. <laughs> Trying to think of names. Um Uh I can't think of any names. Oh okay. God. Uh we can come back to it maybe. I'm so sorry. That's okay. My brain just blank. That's all right. Um are you familiar with the uh, are you familiar with chippers? Yeah. Okay, do you know what Maddie Kiley's is? No. Okay, so Maddie Kiley's is a chipper. But we have a question, and that is, how do you think Maddie Kiley thinks of how they brought the business of Kiley's chipper into? Have they run it into the ground, or is he proud of the legacy that they have continued since he passed away? I would say if you leave a legacy behind, that's probably something to be proud of. Okay. Um, given it's like a positive legacy yeah obviously uh, I suppose uh, we'll, we'll add uh, another question since the first one uh, took a lot out of you you know, with <laughs> didn't think a lot out of me I just don't think of names <laughs> okay um, if they're called bread rolls why can't they roll You're breaking my brain, dude. <laughs> if they're called bread rolls, why can't they roll? Mm. I mean, if you push them hard enough, they probably could. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Or maybe they're just not cool enough. Maybe. Um, are you familiar with uh, the YouTube star Fred Figglehorn? Yes, childhood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had someone earlier who didn't know who he was. What? Yes. Did they not grow up with Absol- the internet? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> disgraceful. But uh, we will ask you this question. Okay. If you could pay- put the character Fred Figglehorn into any film, which one would you pick? Oh, God. 
it would have to be something really serious because I feel like yeah. that would be so stupid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine him in Midsummer. <laughs> yes, that would be fantastic. That would be so funny. It would be great. Just they show up to like the Midsummer Festival mm-hmm. and Fred Figglehorn's just there like, Hi, I'm Fred! <laughs> It would be, be so dumb. No, it would just when your one is like falling out the cliff, he's like, ah! <laughs> he's like running, <laughs> and in the fields, and they're just like, what? And everyone's just there, like, what is he doing? <laughs> Why is he running? <laughs> he shows up in his like little stripey t-shirt and his big backpack, and yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Okay, um starts calling everything a squirrel yes oh it would be amazing (laughs) be so good (sighs) all right just one more okay what body part would you like to add if you could add a body part (laughs) to your body (laughs) yes i know I don't think I can say the first sentence that came into my mind. <laughs> God's sake. I'm a trans guy. Leave I'm me sorry. alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, um, an extra arm would be cool. An extra arm? Oh, that yeah. That would be cool. Where would you place it? Behind? Mm. Or would you, like, just, you know, like, uh, or which side, actually, if it's one arm? Yeah. Um. Or would you be, like, four arms? Ooh, an extra arm on my right hand side would be really good. Yeah. Because my right arm is my dominant arm, but I have a bone out of place in that oh, arm. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, in my wrist. Wow. So it can be quite painful sometimes when I'm doing things for a long period of time. Okay. So to have an extra like dominant arm that I can do things with <laughs> right. would be really helpful. That That's groundbreaking. That's <laughs> like, you won the internet today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Uh, cheers Max thanks for coming on <laughs> no um, worries I'm yeah. so sorry <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pitch uh, Midsummer 2 with Fred uh, yes. featuring Fred yes uh, we have to yeah we'll tag him and uh, we'll get this we'll get this going mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Lucas Kershak Fred uh, we're on to you uh, come, f- come contact us if you're interested our people will contact your people yes of course <laughs> alright thanks Max thanks dude just call in Sean. <laughs> well, uh, that was a very interesting uh, discussion, actually. I, uh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, so uh, I was asking uh, Max. Um, so first off, I asked uh, him, uh, what, uh, who would you like to play in a game of tennis? And they, they couldn't answer it. Hmm. Uh, so... I then uh, proceeded to ask uh, Ma- Max because they actually knew who Fred was. They Thank are educated. God. Yes. And you know what? Uh, Max specifically has stated that Fred should be in Midsummer. Oh. I think so. I think, you know, I think A24, like, what I really think, like, you know, they're doing great in the indie scene, but what I really think they need to push themselves to the next level right now is they need to get Fred. Like, they need to get Fred in their studio and just, like, cranking out some absolute classics. Yes, but uh, could you, um, have you seen Midsommar? I have not. Okay, but uh, if you have, uh, please do check it out. It's fantastic. It's uh, it's quite disturbing. It's a, kind of a horror film. And uh, to imagine uh, Fred in uh, that particular state would be amazing. So yeah. we just had that and it was just... Uh, a really really uh interesting uh discussion and i just it really made us think and uh we might yeah pitch that soon. i'd love to see fred in the lighthouse as in like he's logging the whole thing on his like on his old camera mm. but it's like in the same like black and white in the same aspect ratio as well midsummer isn't in black and white I was saying I'd like to see him in the lighthouse. Oh, the light! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Like he, like if he just like rocks up his own vlog and it's like, "Hi everyone, this is Fred." Yeah, no, here I am in the lighthouse. It would be fantastic. Um, so I then proceeded to ask Max, "Is there, if they're called bread rolls, why can't they roll?" And they proceeded to add that 
if you actually try, you may be able to roll them if you tried hard enough. We'd need to run an experiment on that one. Yeah. Uh, a teapot challenge, I suppose. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's going to be the new second channel. <laughs> Give me, like, some Mr. Beast type shit. First person to, like, roll a bread roll wins a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, they, they weren't familiar with... Uh, uh, Maddie Kylie's chipper, oh. uh, but uh, uh, they they hope for the best uh, mm. that uh, that the the legacy isn't tarnished. But yeah, I ended up asking like a few questions to Max because the the tennis one uh, would confuse anybody really. Mm. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know if anybody else has arrived uh, as of yet, but uh. If that's all the guests, I'm happy mm. with. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel can... like we have had uh, some really, really uh, interesting discussions. So. Yeah. I can say for my tennis question, if I could play tennis against anyone, it would be my man, Sonic Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, even. Because, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I was big into that Sega and All-Stars tennis. And I was like, man, if I could just go in there and play tennis with that guy, mm. that'd be that'd be the dream. Yeah, I, I might pick Crazy Frog. Oh no, he'd be good at tennis. I I just want to hear him like ding, da, ding, ding. <laughs> I, and to be in his tennis music video. He just you know he like he lines up with the ball and everything. It's like he's like bouncing off the ground. He's like, yeah. No, I I would really enjoy very much that. Now, who do you think would win in a duo's game of tennis? Where you and me are on one team, and then Sonic and Crazy Frog are on the other. Oh, God. I feel like they'd win. They'd like, have to win. Like, they have superpowers and shit. Yeah, no, that's that's no competition, really. It's like having, like, uh, John Cena uh, on our team, and then, like, the other team has, like, Vin Diesel, The Rock, Jason Statham, Stallone, Willis, mm. and literally every strong man. We have, like, one strong man and just the two of us, so... You know, it, it just, it's completely, mm. we're outnumbered, you know. Another thing to keep in mind as well, like, it'd be pretty hard to, like, having, like, teamwork with a guy we can't see. Uh, that, that's true, mm -hmm. yeah. He's actually in the interview right now, we're interviewing him. Yeah, no, he's right there. Um, uh, can't... There's duel behind you, actually. Yeah, was that? oh, accidentally just touched his dick. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you, Mr. Cena, for joining us. I've uh, I've been feeling his pecs when you were outside. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh man, uh, it it was great. Did you uh, run out all the way out the the window to get Max in? Uh, Max was sitting on the window. Uh, and you, you begged him to come in. Uh yeah no I uh I uh asked him on the uh. Well, I was in the room and he was outside, so uh. Yeah. I mean, you know, like the glass wasn't that thick. He could yeah. hear me. Yeah, I would. I was uh, hoping that you'd ask the rap battle questions oh then... the rap oh, i think you have a great answer yeah we can do a bonus round we could do a bonus round but uh i think i'll just ask you cause, okay uh, I, I feel like i don't want to put too much pressure on people hmm. um uh who would win in a rap battle between megan the stallion davy souls uh Michael martin buzz aldrin tony hawk lispy bipsy farscape star tammy mcintosh pewdiepie Bertie Ahern, Elon Musk, Boris Johnson, and Bad Bunny. I am definitely thinking Buzz Aldrin out of those. Like, I think, you know, you have some established us in there already, but you know, like, I don't think anything can quite compete with Buzz Aldrin coming out and surprising everyone with his buzz. And I think he seems like the kind of guy who secretly does have some buzz. Some buzz bars, if you will. Yeah. Um, yeah, close second, I think, would be Megan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I think it would, in, if it was like a brackets tournament, it would definitely come down to the two of them in the finale, and uh, he would come out on top probably. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm betting on my man Buzz right here. Yeah. No, I would too. I think, uh, yeah, um, Elon Musk has actually made music, which you think would give him an advantage, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Elon Musk. Yeah, no, he. Uh, really. He made a song called Harambe once. About the uh, ape Harambe. Wait, that was him? Uh, well, like, there's been a few. You might be thinking of the Filthy Frank one, but he made one that was, like, years after it happened, and it was oh like, bro, God. what are you doing? Oh, wow. And then, like, he, uh, 
And uh, yeah, and he made no <laughs> yeah. He made another song after that called like it was like Don't Doubt Your Vibe or some stupid some stupid thing like that. And it was like, you know, I mean it wasn't bad, but it's like I'll say um I prefer his ex girlfriend's music overall to uh to his uh that that, that is Grimes and I'm referring to that as Grimes in case you can tell. Um, who is his ex girlfriend? Grimes. Grimes? Yeah. Oh. But yeah. I guess the final thing to ask is to you, the viewer, Sam down in the comments below. Will you like this video? Hit subscribe, smash the like button, donate to our Patreon, follow us on Twitter for regular updates. Um, we have uh, some of those, some of, some of them we don't. But I'm what, just saying, if we did, would you do it? If we yeah, did have a Patreon, yeah. would you would uh, you donate? Yeah, what what I will say as well uh, to everybody here who is listening, uh, thank you for checking out the Funky Podcast, uh, and uh, leave down in the comments below what is your answer to some of these questions. We will, uh, you know, you can find it uh, in the. So, something if you listen to the whole podcast you will know what the questions are if you have any uh you know additions to that leave them down and uh, let us know let us know guys gals yeah. and non-binary yeah. pals yeah let's we want we we want to hear some takes yeah hot hot takes is okay as well yeah hot takes I'm okay with cold takes but I mean preferably we want the hot takes yeah that's true that's true you know yeah I, I have think... a bonus question for you why do they call it a hot take when sometimes people say some shit that's just really cold oh um and just really mean and like cold blooded is it a hot take then or is it a cold one uh I don't know it's uh <sighs> you know I, I feel like uh the takes when they come out of the mouth are so they almost feel like spicy and it makes your mouth mm. kind of feel i feel like that's what the hot take but i feel like when someone says something cold it means like they said it like cold-blooded but it's a really good question to ask i suppose mm. like uh who's thought of these things anyway i mean like i suppose like the hot thing uh includes to like spices and stuff but i really it really confuses me to be honest i yeah. have no idea and they call it a take but how can it be a take when it's you giving your opinion that's the opposite of a take and when it's a take uh but they never put a number to it not even like take one or two or yeah. 12 i mean so so weird back in my day a hot take was just when you looked at the frying pan and just like took an egg off it with your bare hands and watched as your skin melted that was a hot take epic um <laughs> oof. oh man so much like thing i feel like you know what eggs are so extraordinary extraordinary mm. and um i feel like we need to do a whole podcast about just eggs yeah we did one on tea we gotta do one on eggs i mean like there's so much to choose from like bro you got boiled eggs fried eggs yeah. omelets mm -hmm. Uh, poached eggs. You can just you can just eat them out of raw right at the shell if you want. I'm sure there's like lots of protein in that. Yeah, yeah, obviously. All right. Uh, well, uh, thank you for listening to the uh, Funky Podcast. Uh, hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful uh, day or night or evening or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope uh, to uh, hear some feedback soon from you guys. As do, do I. Yeah, do you want to end it off there? Do you okay. Like well, everyone, this has been the Funky Podcast, and we're funking out. Yeah. How was that? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it's good. We've expanded the Teapot Cinematic Universe to include the rest of the building. <laughs>